Hey everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Are you short on time? I'm always short on time. Going so many different directions at the same time. But I still try to make good food for my family. Which brings us back to the trusted crock pot. Okay, I have my crock pot turned to high. And today, we're going to make just a simple chicken and gravy. Fast, easy, low ingredients. You throw everything in there, you walk away, and it cooks for you. Can't get much simpler than that. I have two packages of chicken. Uh, about three and a half, four pounds of chicken. So we're just going to take the... Uh, chicken breasts and throw them in the, uh, the bottom of the crock pot. Food line was out of the big ones this morning so we had to get two small ones but it's all the same difference other than the price folks. When you buy in bulk or bigger sizes it's usually less expensive. But we can't always do that. Okay. Now, I have the bottom of the crock pot completely covered with my chicken breast. Okay. I have two cans of cream of chicken soup. I'm just going to dump those in there like that. Spread it out just a little bit. We don't have to worry about getting it perfect because, guys, it's going to cook up. It's going to go everywhere. So, it's just to throw it together really fast and we'll get on with it. Okay, I have a container of the poultry gravy mix. You can buy this big size at Sam's. Or, if you can't find this one, you can get two of the little packets of it. But anyway, this is a half cup in here. And salt and pepper to taste. It's probably a good teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons. Alrighty, there's my two teaspoons of garlic. I'm not adding salt because I think all this stuff has enough salt in it. We don't use a lot of salt. And guys, I've got a little all-purpose seasoning mix that has a lot of chicken bouillon and stuff like that in there. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of that. The recipe actually calls for poultry seasoning. Well, guess who don't have poultry seasoning today? That'd be me. And four cups of water. Just pour that over the top. No sense in dirty in another dish. Just mix it up just a little bit. Make sure we don't have any clumps of spice. And just like that, we have the prep work for the uh, protein in our dinner done. Like I say, I have it on high. It needs to cook four to five hours on high or six to eight hours on low, whatever time that you have available to cook. Man, I am so glad to be able to just walk in and have dinner ready. This is a chicken breast that we put in the crock pot with all this wonderful gravy earlier. It's nice and tender. It just falls apart. And, guys, I took the easy route tonight. In addition to this, so easy. I just made some rice in my rice cooker. So there we go. Chicken rice in a gravy. 
fast, easy, very little effort, and perfect for a busy day. Thank you folks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell for all the notifications for the new videos that's coming out. And as always, guys, we'll see you on the next video.